Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we have the Maytech. This is a new project from Maytech. It's called the FC Hub VTX. And this is basically a PDB and a VTX, which is controllable via OSD and Lua script. So that's pretty sweet. Now it is a 25, 200 and 500 milliwatts. And like I said, this is a PDB and a VTX all in one. So that's just awesome. Um, it is meant for the Maytech flight controller, the F405 OSD. You can connect it via ribbon cable and it'll do all your connections and you don't have to worry about anything so it's pretty sweet you would solder your ESCs here and your signals and everything and just have everything connected via ribbon and the only thing you would need to solder after your ESCs to this guy is basically the camera to your flight controller and your receiver to your flight controller and basically you're done so that's pretty awesome now as you can see here they've changed the connector which is good uh, from IPEX to the MMCX type connector so that's just good these are a lot better as you can see it holds very well and uh, gives you a lot of freedom really so they do provide you with a SMA this is SMA not RPSMA SMA and a dipolar so that's pretty sweet here and they do give you an extra ribbon just in case if you lost yours with your flight controller so if you wanted to stick that with it you, you can you can go right ahead and do that now let's just talk about the board as if we're not using the uh, flight controller from Maytech so as you can see the battery is in the back here and um, we have motor one, two, three, four. Now if you're using another flight controller you would not need to solder your signals here. You would take them directly to your flight controller. However if you wanted to you can solder your signals here and take them from here to your flight controller. It's up to you. It depends on your setup on that perspective. Now let's just check out the pads here. So. As you can see, we have we do have current sensing also, so that's pretty sweet. Um, but we don't have an OSD on board, so that's something to take note of. So we have a 5 volt and ground, so this would probably power up your flight controller if you wanted to. TX1 and RX1. So these are used for flashing because you can flash this receiver, uh, this VTX, and um, it is a 40 channel VTX, and it runs 25, 200, 500 milliwatts. So that's pretty good. Now through upgrading firmwares, you can increase the channels. I don't know if they'll release a firmware that does that. Uh, I don't believe it doesn't have, it doesn't say anything about pit mode, so I don't believe this has pit mode, but it could possibly be programmed within, not sure, don't take my word for it just yet. So, we have 5 volt ground, we can power up our uh, flight controller with if we're using a separate flight controller other than the Maytech. And we have TX1, RX1, this is for programming the VTX like I said before, and also controlling the VTX. So let's just say you wanted to control the VTX through the Betaflight OSD. So what you want to do is you would take TX1, not RX1. I know it's weird logic, but you would take TX1 and put it on an open TX port on your flight controller. And um, let's just say you put it on TX6 on your flight controller. And then you would take that TX6 and put it to the TX1 here. And in beta flight, you would set UART6 to run the tramp protocol, the IRC tramp protocol. And then that way you would be able to control this guy through the beta flight OSD. Alright, and here we have another ground in VBAT. VBAT is just a direct voltage coming in from your battery, so if you want to use that for something, you can. Let's take a look here. We have 5 volt in ground. This is another pair. Um, you could possibly use this to power up your camera or your, I don't know, your receiver, but you're probably your receiver, your flight controller probably have 5 volt regulator for the receiver, so you could run that as well from there. So that's good. They give us two 5 volt pads here. And these are the signals. These are basically just routed from here to here. So if you wanted to use them, you can. Ground, video, telemetry. Now DLM, I believe it is telemetry, but there's nothing specifying on how to use it and what it's used for. But it could be connected somehow to your maybe uh, receiver. I mean, trans yeah, receiver and um, get, you know, telemetry for your FR Sky Tyrannus, uh, such as um, we have, uh, what is it? Current sensing and the voltage and possibly even the channel and stuff. So that's pretty sweet. Um, possibly, I'm not sure yet. There's nothing really about this just yet. And this is video, so um, let's just say you had OSD on your flight controller. So the camera would go into your flight controller, pass through the OSD, and it'll have a video out. So you would take that video out and put it to this guy. So this would be video in here from your camera or from your flight controller. Um, and yeah, well, that's it. We have two buttons here to switch channels. And take a note, these sometimes do tend to break off easy, these types of buttons. And when they do, don't worry about it because... All, all, it, all it really does is when you push a button is it bridges two pads together and thus simulating a button press. So if you do break this off, just, just short out. There's four 
basically paths just keep shorting them out until you figure out which one changes and then that's how you would change channel so don't worry if that happens to you and here we have some kind of tvs diode which gives us some protection against high voltage that's very good and that's really it that's all i could really say right now so we're going to be testing this bad boy very soon and um it's going to be pretty interesting i really do like this and uh, this is going to keep your quad very clean so let's quickly take its dimensions here now all right so its width is 35.8 and its length is going to be 36 let's just double check it here yeah 36.1 this is the length on the shortest part and on the highest part, it will be, let's check this also. Forty-five point six. It's length in the longest parts here, so that's pretty nice. The PCB is two millimeters thick, so that's very good. Uh, the overall height from the highest points, if that is of interest to you, would be seven point three millimeters. So it's 7.3 millimeters on the highest part. So it's overall height in the highest part over here. So that's pretty good, seven millimeters. It's not bad at all. Now let's just quickly get the scale and check its weight because that's very important. And I think it was like 17 grams maybe or seven, 13 grams, 13 grams. And then if we add, this is an SMA. Okay, so that's 17 grams with an SMA port. MMCX to SMA and here is dipolar so we got the dipolar also um, it's fairly light it's very good I really do like this because now basically you can get like that flight controller from FR Sky which has a receiver built in not the old one and stick it with this guy and basically you have your VTX PDB flight controller and receiver in just two stacks so that's just insane I think that's just gonna reduce weight and cut time and and just be overall very clean so you'd be left with like a 4-in-1 ESC if you wanted or just just soldering your ESCs and camera and you're done um, so it'd be very clean build so it's pretty sweet uh, and also if you use the Maytag flight controller all you do is just this ribbon cable and just basically solder your battery leads and your ESCs and your motors and you're done so uh, this is pretty sweet. I really do like this. We'll be testing this very soon. I'm going to be building it on the next build and uh, really trying this guy out. This is going to be pretty sweet. I really do like this. So yeah, that's all I can really say right now, guys. So if you guys enjoyed it, if you help someone out there, that's awesome. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And we'll be doing some noise testing on this guy very soon. So yeah, see you guys. Take care. Happy flying.